Okay, today we are going to paint the fridge and the cabinet that the fridge goes into. So what did I bring down with me? Okay, I brought paper towels, some terry cloth towels, rags, Dremel accessories. This is pretty cool. I got this the other day. So um, for like 15, 14, 15 bucks. And it has a lot of metal cutting tools on it, blades and wood cutting blades. So, and that's exactly what I need for the small areas. And of course, my Dremel plastic wrap for the paint, my drinks, which shouldn't be sitting out in the sun. Okay, over here I've got my. paint that I'm going to paint the interior of the closet where the fridge goes, the cabinet. This is my refrigerator paint. It doesn't have a label on it, but I read it and it is for aluminum and metals. Um, I got it for cheap because the thing was torn off, but they still had it. So I got that for really cheap. Paint brushes, paint kit. And another paint roller thing. And little plastic containers to put some of the paint in. So, let's get to work. Okay, so we're going to paint the sides of the refrigerator first. One of the things that I've always kept from previous painting jobs is this. So, oh, I better put some gloves on, right? Okay, it is 96 degrees in here, so it is a hot one today. But the paint is rated to use in the heat, so I'll be okay there. Put my stuff, I'm laying my stuff over here. Get the towels. It is too hot to put on a respirator. It is uh, 96 degrees in here. Let's just hope I don't get a case of heat rash again today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here I have my pan of paint. There I go again. My can of paint. And it's a gray colored. I didn't care what color it was because the fridge is really going behind the cabinet anyhow. Or in its own little corner, whatever you want to call it. And I had it mixed two days ago. So I don't think I have to do too much stirring for it. Okay, and I've got this little tiny pan that I'm going to pour some into and use this roller to roll it onto the fridge with. going to do little bits at a time. Mm 
one way of doing it, right? Lay that on the plastic. Lay the lid back on top. Keep it from drying. And start from back here. I'm not even worried about the floors because they're just wood floors. Big deal. So here we go, folks. You know what? I think I just want to get that to the edge because I don't want to paint this part in here. In this weather, it should dry in about an hour. And uh, I'll wait a couple of hours and put the second coat on. Because I'm going to paint the cabinet also. It's definitely going to leave second. I, I tried to get as much rust off of it as I could yesterday, and uh, the rust stuff didn't work as well as I would have liked to have, but um, I don't care. If it comes back, I can always pull out the fridge again later and uh, sand it down. I'm just getting tired of not being able to get much done, although y'all you know, said I've done a lot. I just want to get more done. And it doesn't even, I don't even have to really worry about how this looks. It's not going to be showing. And I'm doing the sides first because the top is the most rusted and I don't want to introduce the rust to the paint. So I will continue this and show you the finished product. Okay, so there you go. The front of the bridge is already silver, which I like. It has a few dents in it, but I didn't have to buy it, so <laughs> came free with the RV. Um, yeah, I did mess up that a little bit along the edge, so I'll fix that when I do the second coat. So, and then here's the top. I'll go around the side. There's the side. I don't know how much room to stand in here. And then as far as the back goes, back here, I just kind of did around some of the edges. So I think it'll be fine under where the coils are. So there you go. Let that dry. And I have something else to do. Well, that is curing. What I do in the meantime is I just wrap everything in plastic wrap until I have to do the second coat, which is going to be within an hour or two. So it should be fine. And I failed to mention that this is paint and primer. Next, we will get the Dremel saw and cut off the bottom of this cabinet. The bottom is a worst spot, Hold on. but I can't, uh, I don't want to take that whole wall out because that's the inside of that cabinet. 
Okay, I have my uh, Dremel hooked up. I got these have a different type of tip. They lock on than what I was using before. So we'll see how that works. Put my other glove on. I got my mask on. I've got my uh, safety glasses on. And uh, let's get to work over here. Okay, the only thing I'm going to pull off is the laminated part. I'm going to leave this part on. I don't want to weaken the structure. And it's not really molded. I just kind of wanted to get that off of there. So. Okay, so I will clean up this area. And we're going to start painting these walls. I don't care about this right here. It only goes up to about this far, and it's not wet, it's not, uh, I imagine it's just due to, to condensation, or humidity rather, so same thing, but I'm not going to worry about stripping off the whole thing because I don't want to make this real weak. And these are the temps I'm working in today, so I had two fans going in here, which actually made it cooler because the 99.3 is outside, so having the fans on me helped a lot. The refrigerator is already dry to the touch. I, oh, come on. I was planning on painting the closet, but I think I'll put the second coat on the fridge first. Okay. I went ahead and painted the inside of the cabinet with the same paint and the same roller because it's for it's a multi-purpose paint and it has primer in it I don't know what those numbers mean so I decided to just leave them but uh, and the back part I don't think I I'm not gonna waste the paint on it because I'm gonna put a layer of reflectix over the entire thing anyhow so why bother wasting the paint and here's the refrigerator. There you go. Looks good, doesn't it? Yep. Did a pretty good job, even if I say so myself, except for this right here. It looks kind of crappy. But I might just uh, scrape that off on the edges and just let it be. But that looks good, doesn't it? I uh, also painted, of course this has an aluminum sheet over it. There's supposed to be a shelf going from here to here. So, here. so I will cut a new piece of board, nail it on there, get a, uh, some wood and cut my own shelf. And up Above here is the refrigerator vent that vents out from the old propane fridge. So that'll be left alone. And I scrubbed this floor yesterday. Um, debating on whether to get some tiles and lay on it or not. I don't I'm not too sure what to do about that. You know, you can go to the the um, family dollar store and get a pack a pack of like 20 tiles or 10 bucks or something like that so I might just go get some cheap cheap tiles and do that anyhow yep we're done for the day so one closet down I see a little spot but oh well that's okay one cabinet area down and I got all the rest to do still but, you know, one thing at a time. That's how it happens. Progress. One thing at a time. So, thanks for watching. And, uh, thanks again for your support.
and your encouragement and your comments. I see some spots I missed. I'm not going to worry about it. Refrigerator's covering them up anyhow. So live the life you love. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.